Now there is just one thing left to discuss, and that is the update and settings menu. When the media player is connected to the internet, it is set up to update automatically. It will prompt you to update should you wish to hold off doing so. There is also a QR code that will access the help page should you need it. Moving on to settings, there are a number of settings that come as default for the media player. First is time setting. If you connect to the internet, it will automatically set your time zone. If not, simply scroll down to search for your local time zone and manually input the city and country. In playback settings, you have the ability to select what happens on playback when the screen goes idle. You can set up quick play files or playlist, and you can also enable logging and remote log access to allow an administrator to log into the screen and see its current status. Network information gives you all the basic network information, such as IP address and gateway. You can also control the brightness and volume of the display directly from the media player. And finally, we have the browser client menu, which ships deactivated by default. What this allows you to do is log into one or multiple media players via a browser window and control the full functionality. Setting that up is incredibly easy. After enabling browser client in the settings on the media player, using a laptop or computer on the same network as the media player, open the browser of your choosing and type in the IP address shown on the media player, and you'll be able to access the media player remotely.